I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. Thanksgiving today um, and we are frying a turkey so happy Thanksgiving happy Thanksgiving guys so I'm gonna let you do the injections and stuff and I'll mix up the ingredients <laughs> you know why cuz I'm a nurse <laughs> <laughs> just kidding <laughs> so we have kosher salt liquid smoke hot water hot water, maple syrup, and you don't want to get the synthetic maple syrup, you want the real maple syrup, because otherwise it may leave like a weird taste in your in your uh, injection. So we are going to inject some marinade into this, and then we're gonna let it sit in the fridge for what, for two hours? Yeah. And then we're gonna get it out of the fridge for one hour, let it rest on the tabletop, and then put it into Elsie's. What is it? What is exactly is it, that? It's a deep fryer, but it's an um, infrared one. That is so, so it's cool. oilless. So you don't you don't get the fat from the oil, right? It's it's healthier for you. But and I don't only do turkeys in it. I I do um, pork butts. I do pretty much anything that you want to. Um, you can add wood chips to it and give it a smoke flavor, but we already have a smoke flavor in our. I'm just gonna put like two to cool it down, just to cool it down a little bit, because we're gonna inject it in. But also, if you're going to deep fry this with oil, if you have a deep fryer, you wanna do it in five gallons of uh, vegetable oil. And there, there's a certain oil that you, you can. Um, there's a get. peanut oil as yes. well, which is better too, because it's not as, it can go to higher heat and All not right. burn. Guys, I got this on Amazon for $10.99. It is an injector. It doesn't have a lot. Um, it has 30 mLs, which is, I think it's uh, like uh, three tablespoons. Make sure that your needle is screwed in really well because you, you need to make sure that you're holding on to it so you're not like, it's not like all over the place. But also, do it underneath the skin. Do not, do not go through the skin. So you're gonna go through the layers like inside so, the wall. So like you could lift this like up that and, and just and inject into there and see how it rises up yeah and I'm just making sure that I don't go out the other side now I need to get some into these legs here and into the wings so i'm going to go into the side right here and see if i can go into the leg area okay just make sure you don't stab yourself guys we're going to use every last bit of this marinade too i have a feeling that we're going to need every last bit of it and you can always tell when you're in is because you can see the actual meat rise so I'm gonna do the all right we're gonna need to do the wings all right now there is a piece of meat right here on the side right there that you go into, and oh. you just inject. All right, we're gonna go around to the other side and do the same. This is the only time you're gonna be able to go through the skin, because this is the actual thinnest part of the skin, is between here, so. All right, 
I think we almost got it all in there. I'll take a little bit and go into the, these joints. Okay. All right, now this is a little tedious because you have to slide it under the skin here and go down into there. So just be careful. You're gonna hit bone and you're gonna hit skin. Just be cautious, do not stick yourself. These are big needles. And I think I'm gonna go down into this area too. I think I'm gonna to go towards the front as well with what I have left to make sure we get all the... By the way, if you have salt left into your container, it's okay. Because you have enough salt that is melted into this mixture that is going to be giving you what you need. All right, I'm up the front. It's kind of hard to go through these areas but you can do it okay now we're going to put this in the fridge uncovered for two hours and then after that we're going to let it rest at room temperature for one hour and then we'll be back to pat it dry one more time put our seasonings on it and then, and then we'll take it to the smoker elsie's going to show us how to do that so we'll be back guys hey y'all so this is the bucket that we're actually going to deep fry our turkey in it is an infrared deep fryer so there is no oil required but there is a little bit of oil required to put on it so your turkey doesn't stick to it so i'm going to go ahead and grease these down i'm just going to put a generous amount of grease on them and on the inside of the bucket just kind of so we don't have any kind of skin or meat sticking to it and I'm just going to raise the inside of this here too as well all right that's all you need to do and now we're going to get ready to mix our seasoning on the screen and then we will go ahead and put together the whole process of the, of the turkey and everything and we'll get that out here in just a moment so we'll go ahead and get ready to season the turkey and put it into Elsie's infrared deep fryer this thing is heavy it is 16 pounds it is at the maximum weight you can put into one of these infrared the ideal weight for these are like 12, 12 to 14, 14. Yeah. but i couldn't find a turkey less than 16. so we're going to mix our seasonings together and we're going to pat it on him flip him over put him on there and tuck him in we have to tuck the wings and the feet in so and i just patted him dry inside and out because you will lose some of your marinade that's inside it will pull inside so I went ahead and and uh, dried him on the inside also. All right. Get his wings done on this side. Pulled out his little arm. <laughs> okay all right and then we're gonna actually flip him over all right i am actually gonna move that out of the way because there's liquid in there and i don't want to put any more on him
Now we are using chili seasoning instead of chili powder because chili seasoning is a little bit milder and they cut back on the amount of powder. So, okay, I'm gonna turn him that way to you. That way we can get his, his honey parts put in there. All right, I'm gonna show y'all a trick to tucking feet. See this little piece of material right here? Take it and tuck it like that. And that'll tuck his feet in. Yeah, that's if you're baking him though. I don't think you can do that with putting him in here. Mm -hmm. okay. We'll see. Because you have to be able to set the this. Okay. But we'll, but we'll try it. Okay. All right. And we'll tuck his little wings in. The tips will burn like the tips of the feet and the tips of the wings. So Elsie's cutting the tips in there. So how I showed you to tuck the feet in, you can do it with this, but that would be also an ideal way to do it when you're baking as well. Perfect, okay. All right. Now, so, now we're going to get him up and over. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, let's put it in. There we go. All right. It's already heated up. So we put the lid on it and we're going to cook it for about three hours. All right, y'all, our turkey is done. We're gonna take it inside and get it onto a cutting board and let it rest. Look at that, oh yeah. Nice, beautiful. All right, guys, we'll show you what it looks like after it is cut up. And I'm Debbie. And we're, we're Two Sisters Sister Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.